Hey guys, Treetop here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm back again with the Ultimate Tour Press from Lee Precision. If you're interested in this press, I've made some show and tell videos on it to try to orient you to it if you're thinking about it. And those videos are down in the catalog down below, both here uh, on YouTube and on Rumble. Same name, Treetop Flyer, F-L-I-E-R. Uh, going forward, I since I've used this press a lot and and uh, I've met, loaded many hundreds of rounds in different configurations. What I'd like to do is be a, a resource uh, for this press where issues come up. So the first issue I want to address is prom problems with the priming system and more specifically the primer levers. And so that's what this video is going to be about. So a little bit of backstory on this. Uh, when I first got the press, you know, it comes with a large and small primer lever. I started breaking these. Uh, see how this little piece goes right on here like this, like so. Um, that just snapped off, and it makes it un completely unusable. That that happened to me right out right away. I broke one, and then it happened again much later on. So I called Lee, and I told them what was going on, and they said they'd send me out brand new ones, which they did for your charge. They just sent me two two new ones. I had a spare because these levers are the exact same ones they use on the value tour press. So I kind of had a, a backup because I have that press. I didn't have any more trouble for a while. And then I was doing about 100 308 cartridges and I broke a large primer, this one. And, you know, I, I really don't know what caused it. Didn't, didn't really have a good feel for it. I suspected I load a lot of, uh, I load a lot of cartridges like 9 millimeter, 223, 308, and a lot of those have crimp primer pockets. And anybody that's loaded that stuff that has crimp primer pockets, we, the removal method works most of the time, whether it's crimp or reaming, but not 100% of the time. So every once in a while, you'll catch one, you get stuck in and out a little bit. And so I assumed that I had stressed it, you know, doing a, with a, with a stuck primer. I assumed that was the problem. Uh, now I, I'm not so sure about that, but anyway, when I contacted Lee, they told me, you know, I, I always ask them, are you guys having trouble with this? Is it just me? You know, I want to know if I'm doing something wrong or what. And uh, they kind of said they're <laughs> kind of funny because they say like, oh, uh, you know, well, not really, but uh, we have a fix for it. <laughs> so I want to show you what the fix is in this video here. And uh, what they did about it, they sent it all out to me. They were super nice. And uh, I, I think I'm probably one of the first ones to get all the fixes. So I want to share that with you. Okay, so first, let me try to duplicate what problems I was having so that I can, um, so that I can, you know, be a trouble, help you troubleshoot if you're having the same kind of thing. So the first problem I had, obviously, was I broke the large primer on a 308, the large primer lever, as I showed you before. The second thing was since I had another one because I have I happen to be unique and have the the other press that uses the same primer lever is if you look in here you can see there is a a tie bar on this plastic piece right here here's a here's another view of it if you can see it better here on another one of these so that's a little tie bar there that happens to be the hinge point for the uh, primer lever so pay attention to that I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put a primer in here. I'm going to show you. So what happened was me, I broke it, put a new primer lever in, and it was just working terrible. It was it, it was flipping primers over. So that didn't work too bad. See, it kind of guided in. But now it's hanging up here. And uh, now it hangs up there. It's supposed to come out like this. And the, the other thing it was doing was occasionally, I was still be able to use it to some degree, but I had to fiddle with it each time. And then, uh, something, sometimes it would catch, the primer would catch, just like it's catching right there, if you can see that. But if it caught enough, it would, it would push down, and then it would literally flip the primer on its side or whatever inside the cup. It would kind of, it would kind of bounce up and spin around and get in weird positions, and then it just didn't work. It was crazy. I was like, what happened? Everything looks okay. I took it apart, cleaned everything. Couldn't, couldn't figure it out. When I contacted them, they said, well, there's, there's a couple problems there, we think. And um, one of them is this little tie bar here. And I'll show you more about that here just in a second. So let me take this one apart. This is, so I put, the, set, put this together for you guys so you can watch. So I'm just gonna put something under here to lift this off so that we can 
have a better look at it. This one is the new one. So they gave me this. I, I think they call this a, a clutch and shoot assembly because here's your clutch in here. And then this part right here is kind of a little shoot assembly. Um, this is your alignment pin, and then this is the shell holder. So this piece is the old one. Now, I don't know if you can make this out. Try to get it to focus here. Don't have a good backdrop there. But this one is kind of bent in a little bit. It's kind of, look how it's curved right there. And what it's doing, I think, is it's just changing the geometry. It's really, everything's really close the way that has to swing in under the shell holder. And so if you change this a little bit, it's out of position. Now it swings, the timing's off. And so the primer lever doesn't function properly. So this one, this is the new one. They came in and they reinforced it here on the side and here. One more time. Here on the side. See, it's a little, there's a little bit more material there on both sides. It's a little narrower in the middle. So there's less unsupported material there. Okay, so that's one thing that they did. The other thing they did is they sent out this little insert piece that fits over the ram and fills this gap here. So prior to this, when you push down, there was quite a bit of space that was unsupported here um, on the, because you're on this, this plastic piece right here. So when you shove, you're shoving here and putting pressure on it there. So putting this ring on, See, it's got a bevel to it that fits into this bevel here. I hope you guys can see this, but you'll, if you have this press, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it just drops over like that, and then it just sits there. And now it becomes, now when the lever comes down to the bottom, it's got this ring that provides a platform for it to set on just like this. And so now you're pushing, and it does feel a lot more stable when you, when you, uh, prime on it. So instead of instead of catching out here and spanning, it's way up here close to the ram. So it appears to work. Bit of a band aid. Not super thrilled about it, but um, but that's what it is. So let's uh let's go ahead and put this back together again. I'll show you this. I, incidentally, I showed this in another video, but all of this material up here is part of the dimension to make it work right. Actually, let me put this on first. Just put that on, and you do want to make sure that this is mounted all the way down. And so I'm just going to put something soft up here so I can put a little downward pressure. Pardon me. Just make sure it's seated. All right, that's installed. Now, oh shoot, <laughs> dummy. Okay, <laughs> I put it together without putting that ring on. You got to put the ring on first. Let me show you how, what it looks like now. Let's put a, go back to my configuration here. And I'm going to switch over to a small primer because I'm doing two, two, three. So I don't know if you can make it out or not. Actually, let me take you out here and I'm just going to freehand you for a second. So you can get a good look in there. What's going on? Now, if you can see that, you see that it rides up. Just barely get it in there. But the primer rides up on that, that steel ring real close to the ram. And it takes, uh, it takes some of the lever out of it. So it, it, it seems to work really good. Maybe I can come around here and get a better view for you. There's always something in the way. Hopefully you, you can see that. But it takes it, it literally lifts it up off of this plastic piece, which I've never been crazy about that being part of the part of the structure anyway. So uh, now there's metal in there and it works. Okay, so back on the tripod here. Let's see if you can get a look at it this way. Now, one of the problems I ran into is I spilled some powder while I was reloading. And because I always seem to do that somehow, but uh, I got a little bit of powder in here, a little bit of contamination in here, and it caused this this ring to want to ride up, and uh, that didn't work either. So I took it apart and sanded with 500 grit the inside, smoothed it out, 
and it is operating uh, much smoother now. I haven't had any trouble with it since then. So I just wanted to show you that. That's the fix that came out. So there's this, the ring and this uh, shoot and clutch piece. I recommend getting a new clutch with it. Uh, they have a kit that has all these little blow molded plastic parts in it for about $10 that you could get. Um, I would call them and make sure that you're getting the updated um, shoot and, uh, and clutch housing. Here's my packing list. Um, I'm going to give you the part numbers that they sent me. This was for the large primer arm. I don't know if you'll need that or not, but it's 91911. Uh, the price was $7. Obviously, they sent it out to me free. But um, just showing you the receipt here. Molded parts, breech lock, ultimate tour press, uh, six cavity. This is the plastic parts kit. It's TP5484. Now, again, I don't know if they've updated the parts in the kit yet. This has been on their site for a while. The, the retail price is $10 for it. Uh, but the parts they sent me were from this kit. So what they sent me was... They call it the ramp index bracket and the driver clutch. So I got a new clutch and the bracket from this kit. I hope that makes sense. And then the steel ring part, that's a standalone. That's a good part number there, TP5603. And I showed it to you. It's on, that's on their website last I looked. So anyway, I just want to make sure you had that information. Now, as far as I know, I don't, I don't have any personal knowledge, but anything, um, what they've done in the past when they fix something, is all the new presses come out with it. I don't know if this will be the fix on the new presses or they'll redesign it or something like that. But uh, if you don't have that, check it out. If you have trouble, go go get it for them. They, they were really super nice about this. They sent everything out to me free of charge and uh, was happy to get it to me. But, um, you know, it's still, still a pain to have to go through the process. So uh, I guess for the Rumble crew here, I'll go ahead and load some cartridges and uh, have a have a video you can watch it in operation so once you get through the the hassles with this press it really is a, a nice press i've enjoyed it a lot i like the functionality i like being able to leave a hole open do this go to a four hole go to a three hole uh that that's been really great there's been you know the more you add complexity to something the more you add the potential for problems but i'm still i'm still happy with it i'm frustrated and not so much for myself. I'm actually frustrated for, for other people that are out there dealing with this. And I'm a little frustrated with Lee because this was unnecessary. If Lee would take this press and give it to, you know, real users who do reloading of all different types and let them put it through its paces before they put it out on the market, I don't know what their process is for testing or anything. I have no idea. But it seems to me like if you if you gave this out to some people who are more than just fanboys. Somebody who's really going to give you some honest feedback. Oh, this is going to suck. I don't think people are going to like that. Whatever. Anyway, um, I think I think you get better. I think they get better results. But uh, so this for me has been really frustrating, and I'm kind of frustrated for them too because I know I talked to I talked to him before this came out. In fact, John Lee is the one that told me that this was coming out. I called him about something else and he was helping me with, oh, it was, it was a problem I was having with an old powder measure. And he was just the one that called me back. I didn't ask for him or anything, but, and he, he told me that this was coming out and he was excited about it as he should be. They put a lot of good work into it, but there's, there's a couple of problems with it that have really, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a problem. As far as I'm concerned, I think the bugs are worked out of it. This primer lever thing, a lot of people don't even like to prime on press. So, you know, I don't think that's as big an issue. But for me, I think if you're going to use a turret press, if you, as many functions as you can do on the turret press and keep the, and keep the rotation going is when it makes the most sense. The more, the more functions that you take off press, the less sense a turret press makes. Hopefully that makes sense. And here I am with <laughs> with brass. It's already pre-sized and trimmed, but that's that's different because of the way I like to treat my brass. So um, anyway, guys, I hope you like this. And um, thanks for watching. If you're watching me on YouTube, uh, don't forget to go and sign up on uh, Rumble, Treetop Flyer uh, over there. Just um, subscribe, you know, make, make yourself a count, subscribe. Rumble's the home of the future, I think. 
Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to you.